Welcome. In this video, I am going to explain you about subtotals. So what is happening over here is, whenever salesman sells something, he makes an entry in the spreadsheet. But what if we wanted to see the products sold by Rajiv or we want the data to be shown according to the products? What we can do is, we can use subtotals over here. I am going to explain you that. First of all, select the data. This is step number one. Then go to data and from there choose subtotals. Now, if we want to see the data according to the salesman, what we can do is we can select group by salesman and then we can say calculate subtotals. Here I will select sales. So what function we can use is we can do the sum or we can use count, average, maximum, minimum. All these functions are available to us. So what I do, I just click OK. Now what you can see, we have salesman Amit, all the products sold by Amit and the total sales also. This way we get the data and at the end we get the grand total. Now I go to subtotals once again and if I go to second group, and from there, I choose product. You can observe over here, the products are still in random order. So when I say, okay, what you can see is the product are not in random order now. Now again, I go to subtotals and in the second group, I again choose sales. Now you can see that Amit and product A total number of units sold by him. This is how the categorization is done now. So that means I have made two groups, Amit and product A, Amit and product B, Amit and product C. So that means the grouping is done on the salesman first group level and then product second group level. So if I go to subtotals once again, and in the salesman, I choose product and in the second group, I choose salesman. So this is what will happen. So it will be product A sold by Amit, product A sold by Rajiv, product A sold by Sahil. So that totally depends upon you that how you want this grouping to be done. Whether you want to do the grouping on the product or the salesman. Now I come to the options. You must have observed that the salesman is in ascending order and also the product in ascending order. So what I can do, I can choose descending and say OK. Now salesman and product are in descending order. I go to data, subtotals, options, and I can also say page break between the groups. If I say OK, so there is a page break. So what this page break means that whenever I try to print this, this portion will be in one page, this portion will be another page and this portion will be another page. So we can say that subtotals allow user to create groups and then perform various other functions on them such as sum, count and average. Thanks for now. See you in the next video.